not land but people so to unite uh, in india or to unite india with other countries otherwise to be all three countries to unite together to move forward we need to unite the people for that we need a strong foundation that foundation can happen if south north east and west we unite together that's how the unification can happen so for that i would like to thank everyone for all the senate members and also the secretariat for having organized this particular seminar this is a first of power we already proposed the tamil nadu chapter has already proposed an idea to everyone that once this covid protocol gets over we are more than willing to conduct a seminar in chennai where we can invite people from bangladesh we can invite people from pakistan it could be a educational seminar or it could be a cultural or anything you no know, socio economic we will discuss we will try to understand each other we will try to sort out all our differences in a democratic way that's how we can move forward in that uh, you know uh, in that uh, progress as a first step we are conducting the seminar in the future we promise from tamil nadu that we would uh, conduct a real uh, seminar in chennai uh, on behalf of uh, our ira that can be done in the future as of now i would like to welcome all of our uh, guests to this uh, seminar i would like to thank everyone for being here uh, uh, now over yes. to you irfan thank you. thank you thank you dr dhamraja for the quick uh, introduction about the recent developments of ira so uh, i think uh, we can't wait any more to hear uh, our respective uh, guest here the founder and patron of ira honorable justice markande kadju sir is here but before i invite him for the inaugural address i uh, welcome uh, indarvan singh chadda ji uh, the chairman of ira to this uh, program i also welcome ms poonam kaur thank you so much for joining uh, this gathering here and yes uh, moving to you kadju sir please give an intro uh, inaugural address for the program and then uh, directly we'll move to the much awaited session by advocate uh, faisal ck kadju sir please thank you irfan welcome to all of you uh, i may just can you uh, about ira this concept of ira see this concept arose in my mind because by my study intense study over 50 years 60 years or so i realized that this partition of india was a big swindle by the british the whole aim was to keep hindus and muslims fighting each other on the basis of the bogus two nation theory that hindus and muslims are two separate nations which is all nonsense but the whole object see you must understand why was partition done it was done so that india does not emerge as a modern industrial giant like another china of which it has all the potential today india has thousands of bright engineers i go to america often i see many indians manning silicon valley and in the american universities that i visit i find indian professors of engineering science mathematics medicine etc we have a huge pool of technical talent and we have immense natural resources so we have all that is required to become a modern industrial giant like the usa or uh, europe or china but because we keep fighting each other in the name of religion and caste and language and so on we waste all our resources and our energies in this and we are unable to progress so uh, i wrote uh, if you go on the website indian reunification association dot weebly dot com and there's another website in reunification dot com you will find there uh, a mission statement which i wrote about uh, why ira was created and there are also 16 articles called addresses to the indian nation which i would request all of you to read they are all on that website so you must understand this that uh, 
this partition was a big fraud by the British. And we must now see through this fraud and we must reunite, but as a secular country. You see, the concept of IRA is totally different from the Akhand Bharat concept of RSS. RSS also talks of reunification, but they want reunification under a Hindu-dominated India. Whereas IRA wants reunification, but without any community dominating over anybody. All equal and uh, total secularism and giving equal respect to all. So our concept of reunification is very different from the RSS concept of Akhand Bharat. Some people say that you are propagating Akhand Bharat. And I have to repeatedly clarify this. We must give everybody equal respect, including South Indians. They have made a huge contribution to our nation. Sometimes, you know, I'm, I may be pardoned for saying so. Some North Indians have a tendency of looking down on South, South Indians, which is very bad. We must give equal respect to everybody. And South Indians have made tremendous contribution in various fields. I need not mention, they have um, produced great people like C.V. Raman and uh, Ramanujan, the great mathematician, and a large number of people. The chief first chief minister of Tamil Nadu, Kamraj, made Tamil Nadu a first class state. And Pandit Nehru, the prime minister, said that Tamil Nadu is the best administered state in India because he built up uh, engineering colleges, educational institutions, set up industries and so on. So South Indians have made a huge contribution to India and all must be treated as equal. With these words, I thank you again and I uh, wish to hear the other speakers speak. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, so before we move to our main speaker of the day, I would request uh, in the win, sir, are you there? Uh, Poonamji, please felicitate our program. Um, namaskar, everyone. Thank you for. Uh, can you hear me? Is my point because yes, my yes, yes. Yes. yeah, hi. Uh, namaskar, thank you so much, Irfan, for having this. Namaste, Kajo, sir, and namaste, everyone else. It's uh, so true that, um, uh, you know, uh, what Kajo said that uh, a lot of North Indians do, uh, do look down upon um, South, uh, which is the truth. Um, me being the Sikh and born in uh, Telangana, uh, I'm, I'm still looked at, uh, you know, uh, I am still saying, uh, people still say, saying, you're a core, how come you're in Telangana? Um, and then uh, then the South Indians are called Madrasi. So I'm, I'm in a juxtaposition of being in between North and the South. Uh, I think it's the best combination also. And uh, as Sir was speaking, I was hearing, I wanted to say that um, South India had uh, given uh, India P.V. Narasimha Rao, Sir, who came up with such amazing policies for the whole country. And uh, all the great leaders have always uh, tried and spoken directly or indirectly, uh, maybe even if it is the vice president of India right now about unification and peace. Um, it's extremely important for us as India to understand each other, uh, North and the South Belt especially. Uh, because there is a lot of uh, a distance, uh, a mental, mental distance, which has to be erased. And, uh, you know, the people who th think alike have to come together because until unless we come together, I don't think we will be able to look forward and move forward for the peace that we are uh, looking at. Also looking at the situations uh, right now in the international arena of, uh, you know, in, we are in the 21st century, but looking at all the social media and what is going around in the world, I think it's, it's more important for the North and South and East and West to unite because only when we are united uh, that nobody can really dominate us and India has, has had a history that no matter who wanted to come and capture uh, the country, 
um, except for uh, the India Pakistan separation there's nothing really which which happened so it's it's extremely important I'm very thankful for Irfan for uh, you know calling on the South Indian states and uh, and all the like-minded people who have come here so thank you so very much and thank you for making me a part that's about it thank you thank you so much Poonam ji and uh, Indravan sir quickly uh, please address the session thank you yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, a very positive. Uh, good evening, uh, uh, Kaju sir. Good evening, uh, Poonam Korji, and good evening, rest of the guests. Really, a uh, very nice initiative by the South chapter, especially the Tamil Nadu. I congratulate and best wishes from my end, and they are doing tremendous job. And hopefully, uh, as, as soon as the COVID pro, uh, system gets down, we'll hopefully be organizing a seminar very soon. All the best to the team. That's it. Thank you. Yes. So without any more delays, uh, let us invite uh, Advocate uh, Faisal CK. He, I will just uh, uh, revise his introduction. He is currently serving as an undersecretary to the government of Kerala. He was uh, uh, an officer and he was in charge of the Kerala house. He was in Delhi. He regularly writes in national portals. And he's like an elder brother to me. Thank you so much, Faisal, sir, for joining. And welcome to this session. We all are waiting to hear from you. Thank you, Irfan, sir. <clears throat> and uh, respected the former Chief Minister of India, Shri Murkandai Karju, sir. I am very privileged to be with Markandeya Kardusa because uh, I, I am a self-proclaimed liberal and uh, his grandfather, respect, uh, Honorable just, uh, Kailasnath Karju, is one of the pioneers in the uh, pioneers of Indian liberal movement. And uh, uh, he, I think his grandfather's uh, poster has not been fully acknowledged in the modern Indian history. He was um, chief minister, governor, member of uh, constituent assembly, and also a member of uh, the INA trial defender team, etc. Uh, it is very great privilege to be with uh, Markandel Karjo Saab in this discussion, particularly his uh, grandfather, grandson of uh, great Kailas Nath Karjo Saab. So today we have to discuss the reunification of India. Uh, first of all, I would like to remember a recently released film, Mando, divided, uh, directed by Nandida Das. Nandida Das is a very famous Indian movie director. Nandida Das movie, Mando, uh, a biopic on her, Sadatas and Mando. It is a very must watch for every Indian. This film, this film, Mando. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, please continue. Uh, this uh, film, uh, Mando, very beautifully demonstrates how the life of a person is uh, shattered by the communal divide. How the life, a great life of Sadat and Mando was shattered by the partition of India. Uh, he was a great uh, promising screen play writer in uh, Hollywood, in uh, nascent Hollywood in Bombay. And, uh, but he was uh, due to the compulsion of partition, he was uh, forced to uh, emigrated to Karachi. And then he is uh, facing so many ordeals in Pakistan because his uh, writings were portrayed as pornography and he was uh, put on trial. Finally, he, was, he ended up his life in a lunatic asylum. And there is a very important uh, short story. That short story is also uh, portrayed in that film. It is uh, Toba Teksi. It is a story of a, a, a sick lunatic, a, a sick uh, what we can a schizophrenia. The uh, background of the story is that after the partition of India, there is a uh, lunatic asylum. The officers concerned of the lunatic asylum decided to divide the lunatics, the 
Hindu lunatics, Muslim lunatics, and Sikh lunatics on the basis of their religion. The Hindu lunatics were given, Sikh and Hindu lunatics were given to India and Muslim lunatics to Pakistan. But Taubat Dek Singh, uh, this uh, one, uh, the protagonist of this movie,